For more videos visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, now we're gonna do this problem which says express each of the three forces acting on the support in Cartesian vector form and determine the magnitude of the resultant force and its direction measure clockwise from the positive x-axis. So, we're gonna measure it this way. So let's break down the forces into the, its components. F1 is uh, 50 times 3 over 4 in the positive x direction, which is uh, unit vector i, plus 50 times 4 over 5 in the positive j direction. So when you calculate this, 50 times 30 divided by 4 is going to be 30. I'm sorry. This is divided by 5. You divide by the hypotenuse. My mistake. 30i plus 40j. 50 times 4 is 200 divided by 5 is 40. Now, force 2, which is this one down here, is going to be this part of the triangle on this part of the triangle it's a right triangle so <coughs> 80 times the sine of 15 degrees you know this angle right here is 15 degrees in the negative i unit vector direction minus 80 cosine of 15 degrees in the negative j direction when you calculate this, you're going to get negative 20.7i minus 77.27j. And the last factor is force 3, which is 30 newtons in the positive i direction. So what you're going to do, you're going to add all up, add all the x's, which is this one, this one, and this one you're gonna get that the resultant force in the x-direction is 39.3i and now you add the y's there is no y over here, it's 0 plus c or j and when you add them all up you're gonna get that the resultant force is negative 37.27 in the J direction. Well, we need to convert this into magnitude, and the magnitude of the resultant force is going to be this number square plus this number square, all that square rooted. So it's going to be the square root of 39.3 square plus 37.27 square which is equal to 54.16 newtons or newtons that's the magnitude and the angle notice that this is more or less till here and you go down just about the same thing it's going to be something so it's good to draw it so you see that the answer makes sense so to find this angle right here angle theta because we're measuring it clockwise from the x-axis positive x-axis is equal to the tangent inverse of the y component or the x component which is 37.27 over 39.3 and this is going to give you that theta is equal to 43.48 so this one and this one are the final answer